1,800 feet. And you can see that we're looking at a, a way to our left. Our Bhutanese guide, uh, Karma Sering, said to me, Hey, Steve, look at that. There's some really strange tracks over there. Where are they gone? Lost them. And on a steep mountainside, rock and snow mountainside, uh, there's this absolutely amazing set of tracks. Oh, there they are. I mean, as soon as I saw them, I, I was dumbfounded. Really quite bizarre. I would say that when we were stood on the coal, it must have been about 200, 250 yards away. And judging that, I think that the tracks were something like that. A little bit bigger than a human footprint. And they are a long way up. A very steep, you know, vertical cliffs down below here. You certainly wouldn't want to slip on this slope because you'd be over a cliff. If it was a snow leopard or a bear, you would, you would expect to see a set of tracks that are offset like this. These tracks are prints that are one in front of the other. Now, I know as a mountaineer that if you are crossing a snow slope, the natural tendency is to put one foot in front of the other. And it's a bipedal thing. You know, we as bipeds are, are capable and in, it's an instinctive thing that you put one foot exactly in front of the other. So... It was a large animal, there's no doubt about it, it's a large animal standing upright, able to put one foot exactly in front of the other. Now, what is that? 